Yo, stop stop trying to tune the station, bro. You're listening to True to Size and it's episode 177. That was so lame. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what else to do, man. It's been oh, a minute, bro. man. <laughs> it's episode 177. It That's literally just up. sounded like your microphone was bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It still works. I'll throw on like an after effect to it, like later. And make it I'm just, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? And welcome to True to Size. We are a weekly podcast centered around the wild world of sneakers. I will be your host today. My name is Lawrence Hopkins, and I am joined by the rest of the quarantine team at Canada Got Soul, Mr. Joel Hernandez. Nah, he tweaking. Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Alvin Martinez. Yeah, I don't know. That was good. Yeah. You can tell Alvin. I don't know what's going on with Alvin. <laughs> Alvin it's been too long. It's Alvin's been too having long. a too day. Long, what was what was that Nahi tweaking thing on Instagram? I think I think when it all stems from, it's it's from little Nas X. He was like um commenting. He left a comment on uh Tony Hawk's, I don't know if it's his video or whatever, but Tony Hawk has a has a skateboard line coming out. Um, and it's got in the paint, it has like his blood. Whose blood? Mix Tony Hawk mixed into the paint. So these boards, these decks are going for like 500 bucks a pop. So, Bruh. so when that, that came out because Lil Nas X had that little thing with the, with the blood in the, in the Air Max kind of shoe, oh. that, that saint or that devil shoe that he had. Yeah. He had commented, nah, he tweaked it. <laughs> and it just like blew up. Everybody was just. I keep seeing that on every post. Nah, he tweaking. I'm yeah, like, man, what the heck like is flooded, going on? Comments are flooded like that. Man, it's that right now, and it's the milk crate challenge right now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what is going Bruh, on, man? Never the milk crate never. thing. Like it's it feels very like 2015 viral. Like overnight, it was just like everybody started doing it. It's like mannequin challenge vibes. Like, yeah. This, the, <laughs> yeah. one person did it, and the next day, everybody's doing this milk crate challenge, except this one is, like, actually dangerous. The mannequin challenge was <laughs> not... Where's everybody getting... Do that. Where's everybody no. getting these milk crates? Starbucks. <laughs> Does Starbucks have milk crates? I mean, they used to, when I used to work there. Mm. But they could also be just getting them backdoored from a grocery store, because yeah, that's probably where it started, yo. Like, employees yeah. from a grocery store were like, yo... We're bored. It's the pandemic. Let's do a milk crate challenge. <laughs> yeah. And then people, someone just took it and just flew with it. And now it's like the popping thing and everyone's trying to do it. The milk. We're just dumb crate. as fuck. Cause I see people like, oh man. So some of the, some of the videos are just painful. It looks like it hurts. Yeah, like, I just mean, don't understand yeah. why. <laughs> Mostly. I just don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't why. make sense. It doesn't I just like, don't get there's why. so many yeah. things you can do. But I mean, hey, do what you got to do, you know? Man, people are bored. Like, I'm yeah, surprised it took yeah, this long for, for something this dangerous. To become trendy like people are so bored inside and there's climbing milk crates i don't even know where you get those <laughs> and like people are going to metro like hey i don't want the milk but like can i just get some crates <laughs> i don't get it crazy yo, crazy what a time what a time to be alive but yeah yo we're back like alvin said he he's rusty we're all probably pretty rusty it's been two weeks um <laughs> we all had something going on in the last couple of weeks, actually. It wasn't just a one of us this time. It was a collective, busy two weeks for all of us. But we're back. We're going to get into that later. But uh, it's just us this week. The summer of fun continued, and we missed two weeks in a row. Uh, but we're making up for lost time from last year. That's all we can do. Uh, so we're kicking it off with a fire round question from a good homie who wants to know our summer faves. Summer's over. What the hell? Um, and then we've got a new signature line from one of the NS- NFL's biggest stars, after that, we're covering two weeks worth of pickups because it's been two weeks. Hopefully, we have something to report. And closing it out by playing a little catch up. It's been a few weeks. So that's, so what have we been up to? What are we looking forward to as the fall approaches? Because as we speak, it's August 26th. Holy oh crap. My. And uh, how many more times is Alvin going to go to the cottage before he just can't anymore? Who knows? Like We should start an Alvin cottage count because like it's yeah. got to be up in the several hundred trips by now. It Listen. feels like. It's yeah. called cottaging. Mm. Uh, similar to portaging, except there's no boat or rowing. You just drive to a cottage. 
Alvin is big in the world of cottaging. He started a cottage Instagram. Yeah, Mr. Cottage Mart. Yeah, he's like Cottage <laughs> Mart. Anyways, but with a Q, obviously. <laughs> that's actually yeah. not bad. That's a cool brand. I'd buy that yeah, T-shirt. Yeah. We're gonna get into all that later. We're just gonna catch up. This is gonna be a catch-up episode. We're gonna talk about what we missed in the last two weeks, all that kind of stuff. But first, Joel. Ooh. Fire yes, I missed. Oh, question mark. <laughs> I missed that the most in the last two weeks for sure. Same. Uh, yes, the fire round. We let start every show with a quick hitting question from you, our listeners. And this week's question comes from Weekends with Walt. Oh, yes. John. Yes, Big John out from Hello uh, Jeeper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so he <laughs> says, See, this is how you know this guy gets a podcast, and all of a sudden he's like a podcast expert over here. He's like, not sure if you guys are still doing a podcast anymore, but if you are, I've got a fire round submission. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> we missed Brad. two weeks. <laughs> I miss you too, bro. I miss you too. <laughs> we missed two. We're on episode 177. We missed two weeks. <laughs> Chill out, buddy. Anyways, um, he says, first, since Lawrence just got back from Dallas, I would, ap- I would be appreciate, it would be appropriate for him to give us a yeehaw or at minimum a hey, howdy, hey. I will say I was disappointed that in Dallas I did not hear a single yeehaw or hey howdy hey. I did hear no? lots of y'alls. No, no how no howdy y'all. Yeah. None of that. Y'all. I feel like I said it ironically more than I heard it like for real. I thought I was gonna be like howdy and like yeehaw all over the place. I only saw two cowboys when I was there. That's not oh, enough. Oh wow! That's but like horrible. literally on horses, like in on the street, horses, yeah, in the park, just sitting there talking. In like a public wow. park, just these two guys on horses sitting in a public park talking like they were on benches, but they were on horses. <laughs> what a place. What a place that we'll get into all that later. We got lots of catching up to do. He says his question is with summer basically over, at least for me with my wife back to work and kids back to school. It's got me thinking about summer shoes. Every podcast has been talking for months about this is a great summer shoe. That is a great summer shoe. Seems like everything is basically a great summer shoe. I want to know what makes a good summer shoe. Is it color, materials, cut, comfort, breathability, or whatever? And what was the shoe you found yourself wearing the most this summer? For me, a good summer shoe is very light colored and low cut. I found myself wearing the Jordan Center Court a ton this summer. I really like that shoe, but won't Mm -hmm. deny it is very Stan Smithy. Stan Smithy, mm. very good oh, adjective. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll start with a round of uh, what makes a good summer shoe. We can definitely start with that. And I, there is definitely, I think, for me at least, a lot that goes into a good summer shoe, especially one you want to be wearing all day, aside from a slipper, sandal, tinella, whatever. Um, but uh, mm. Alvin, for you, what makes a good summer shoe? For me, it's... I don't. I, it, it used to be, you know light weight stuff uh low cut stuff but now with with covid happening and us not really being able to get out as much as we used to like a great summer shoe for me is anything within the closet so like it could be a jordan all leather and it could be 35 degrees outside i'll still rock that shit with some crew socks um or it could even be just like an Air Max I haven't worn in a minute. But like as of right, like for this summer anyway, for me, I didn't really have a clear cut summer shoe. It was just anything that I felt like wearing that I had in the closet. And that's just because it's been a rough year for sneakerheads, man. Like yep. you couldn't really floss. You couldn't really rock your shit. So, uh, facts. but I mean, hey, let's just say just just for argument's sake, something really light, probably mesh. Uh, for me, I would like a bright color. So it would like pop in the in the night and daytime. Mm. Um and yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. That's a good description. I like that. I think I can echo all of that. Um, I definitely agree that, you know, there was no like clear cut summer shoe for me because like you said, we're just starting to open up in Toronto and the GTA. So like everything is being brought out now. There's not yeah, much time everything. left <laughs> before the snow is back or we're back into lockdown. So everything is being brought out. Yeah. But yeah, for the sake of argument, I, I definitely like a white summer shoe, low cut, something you could wear with like crew socks, no socks, no show socks, whatever. Um, but yeah, I do like a little splash of color in there as well. So mostly white, light and breathable is good, but not necessary for me because I mean, I'm not wearing sneakers for that reason. But uh, yeah, I'll go with some of that. Joel, what makes your, I know you're a big no show slash no sock guy. What makes a good summer shoe for you? Um, like what you guys have like all said, like something bright, 
something that catches your eye kind of thing mm-hmm. the whole day and night kind of thing and you know breathability man and, and comfort wise you know we're getting old our backs are hurting and shit like that so yeah nice. man something that's comfortable comfortable that you could wear like the whole day yeah kind of thing and um but yeah man but yeah my go-to is like a white some white like a white shoe i agree like a white sneaker some white but yeah man. alvin you said uh you didn't have a specific clear-cut summer shoe but i think you just picked up a pair recently ish that is going to be my answer but do you have like an irregular summer what do you think your uh go-to summer beater would have been this year uh, with something in the closet, it would either have been a white, uh, Stan Smith, like the OG mm. with the green. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. I feel like I, I know what you're talking about. Cause I was going to mention that too. The neutral gray air Jordan one lows yeah. would have been mm. pretty much on my feet all summer. Yep. If it was a regular summer, but yeah, th- those would probably be my two go-tos if I was just, if I was the type of individual to just want to rock a white pair of shoes all summer. Absolutely. Which I'm not. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the neutral gray one low was like the shoe of the summer. Like it was yeah. relatively accessible. If you missed it, it wasn't that expensive to buy after the fact. Low cut, good quality, white, mm-hmm. crispy leather with like just the gray. So you can literally wear it with absolutely anything. You can wear it with crew anything. socks, no socks, whatever. Like huge fan. I think that was the shoe of summer. I picked it up but got rid of it for retail because I was like, I've just can't right now (laughs) um but uh my shoe that i've actually found myself reaching for a lot it actually checks all the boxes that we described i picked it up last year but that's when we were like super locked down and it's the supreme um spectrum i don't remember what it's called but the supreme white mesh runner with the flames um wore it a ton this summer incredibly light like incredibly breathable like when i say light it's like light there's no tech in it whatsoever so it's literally just like mesh mesh and rubber um but uh yeah great summer shoe not incredibly comfortable so it doesn't really check that box uh but just like perfect with like a a low low cut sock like maybe i'll wear them tomorrow now because i'm talking myself up again but yeah big fan of that shoe uh we'll probably still wear it a bunch more but i think still my shoe of the summer would be uh the neutral gray one low Mm-hmm. Joel, what's something that you found yourself reaching for a ton this summer? Oh man, a lot would be the the or- Orbit Gray, so the Orbit Gray ZX yeah. 2000. Oh yeah, those are yeah, clean. like 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 you said, like anything Summit White, Summit Gray is like the color of of the summer this yeah, year, those. and it transitioned all through like each each sneaker brand out there, and mm-hmm. but yeah, man, the Orbit Gray is like close to the to the front door for me and it's it's been there like the whole summer so but yeah man i reached that we you know no shows you know crew crew socks whatever and it's it's still good you know what i mean so hell yeah facts yeah, yeah, slept on that man they went on sale God mm. damn it. good ass shoe <laughs> damn it um anyways good answers all around if you would like to submit a question for the fire round and have us answer it on the pod Please shoot us a message on Instagram or email us at CanadaGotSoul at gmail.com. Next up is the CGS picks. Each week, we all pick an upcoming sneaker to analyze, dissect, and give our thoughts on. Then we decide if it's poop, scoop, whoop-de-whoop, or Alvin's trademark phrase. C'est très joli. Oh, wow. The French is back, baby. Okay. It's been a minute. It's been a minute indeed. And as we, in case anyone forgot, it's been a minute, but I go first during the CGS picks. (laughs) And this shoe is wild, man. Like, wild in the most non-wild way, but wild nonetheless. It's the, uh, what's the, even the actual name? Sorry. It's this, it's Simpsons collaboration with Adidas. The shoe itself is called the McCartan. Never even heard of that silhouette. I don't even know if it's a new silhouette, whatever. It's like a boat shoe. <laughs> it's the Ned Flanders edition yeah. of the shoe. Yeah. These things are like flawless in like the mm-hmm. weirdest way. It's it's crazy because like they've done theming on shoes with the Simpsons. Like, you know, they did like the Krusty ZX 10,000. They did like, I think it was a forum for Duff Beer, like all those different things. Um, and now they have this Ned Flanders shoe going a different route. It looks like a pair that like he would wear on the show. It's like a boat shoe, like 
I don't even know what to, a loafer looking shoe with mm-hmm. the pink leather insole or in lining, olive green upper, brown suede up the tongue and the laces, just like so cool. The box is awesome. It's just a picture of Ned Flanders that says left handers rule. And yeah, I mean, this is not a shoe that I would actually purchase like maybe i guess um but this feels like a shoe for like the simpsons collector who just wants to like own a literal piece of like simpsons gear basically like it looks like something that ned flanders would wear on the actual show so i think that these were knocked out of the park like completely 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 i mean maybe you know as a dress shoe maybe i'm selling myself on it a little bit the more i look at it because that pink lining oh is, like, shit that pink lining is fire 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 flames yeah um but yeah man these are a whoopty fucking whoop maybe not to actually buy for me personally but like man what a perfectly executed shoe just like so so cool to look at just i'm not sure about putting it on my actual foot we'll see (laughs) maybe Mm, um crazy cool shoe uh alvin Mm -hmm. what do you got so i got the running support 93 that is a uh, I believe a retro from our Adidas family. Mm-hmm. Uh, so similar to that ZX uh, campaign that they were pulling last year, which was amazingly dope. Shout out to Adidas for, you know, helping us out, hooking us up with most of those pairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're doing an EQT campaign right now. And uh, similar to, you know, last the last ZX one, they're doing it with a lot of stores. Uh, shout out to Canadian store Livestock, who is putting out an EQT pair. Yeah, baby. Uh, mm-hmm. Really amped for that. You also have some other notables. You got Foot Patrol, Overkill, Atmos, who also did ZXs. Uh, I believe it's Sneaker Politics, Soulbox, Hannon, and just a bunch of other ones, man. And they're just doing some EQT uh, 91s, 93s, uh, and then some EQT prototypes. And just in case you guys did not know what EQT meant... Uh, it is short for Adidas Equipment. Uh, this was built for the purpose of just having an essential shoe for the athlete. So basically, they made the shoe just to have the, the bare minimum cushioning, protection, and all that. And they stripped away all the nonsense. But while they did that, they also made a pretty dope silhouette. Mm-hmm. Um, and the pair that's coming out. So the one that I'm talking about specifically is uh, the quote-unquote OG pair. Um, so it's got some black mesh on there, accents of... The uh, forest green uh, is predominantly white, super, super clean, uh, very retro looking. Uh, I may, if it's within the budget, probably not, but I may try for a pair. But these are dope, man. I've always seen them on uh, our homie Alex, a.k.a. Suji Cypherson's feed. He makes them look so, so good. And I'm glad they're coming out. And this is a pretty dope uh, campaign that they're coming out with. And I'm really, really happy to see that there's a Canadian store on there. Uh, shout out to Livestock once again. Yep. But yeah, look for those to come out. Uh, I don't know the release date. My bad, guys. I'll do some research. <laughs> <laughs> the Livestock pair is essential. Gotta yeah, get it's the dope. And it's simple, pair. man. Yep. And, uh, the Livestock pair I saw the other day, and like the colorway behind it is like you have the grid from like where they have like the planning. It's essentially a shoe from all the planning that they've done throughout the years of making mm. stories and all that other good stuff and like nice it's dope super neutral super dope but like the details are crazy so i'm really on for that shoe for sure yeah it's one of those shoes that like the canadian sneaker community kind of really has to show out for we if, have to yeah like if you want to make sure that yeah. these canadian stores are getting collaborations in the future this is one of those ones that like we all got to kind of show up for and like support your local because like Facts. if these sit and have to go on sale then adidas looks at it like oh Livestock doesn't have the pull. They don't have the clout. Yeah. So then they don't. Then then yeah, we know what you happens. Do after it, that. Um, but yeah, I love mm-hmm. that the whole EQT thing they're doing is dope, dope, dope. Um, Joel, what do you got? All right. So what I got is the light smoke gray Air Force One high strapless. Gee. Like I said, um, yeah, man, summit gray, uh, smoke gray, what have you color the color of the summer of 2021 Mm -hmm. i believe um but yeah these these look like bangers um but like it says on the uh on the description doesn't have a strap on the high cut um it looks like it's got the sort of like the craft kind of um i guess i guess uh 
the craft um, kind of do over that they did on the on the on the Air Force One Lowe's. Um, it's got like it's got like the suede heel uh, cutout swoosh. Um, it's got the aged uh, patina midsole. It's got your smoke gray sole at the bottom, all on top of white. Looks like really good leather. Um, but yeah, set to drop sometime in 2021. Uh, but yeah, look out for these, man. These are really nice. But yeah, high cut, strapless, no straps. No strap. Don't get the strap here. Don't get the strap here. Don't you can a add a strap, but yeah, no straps come with it. These are giving me uh, PSNY vibes. Public School yeah. New York, back when yeah, they yeah. used to collaborate with Nike and Jordan all the time. I haven't seen something from them in a while. Um, a but yeah, the white and gray gives me like hella PSNY vibes. I don't know what yeah. happened to them. They kind of just fell off the face of the earth. But uh, yeah, dope looking pair. Hey, Joel is riding with those Air Forces, man. Like when when Air Forces are cool again, I guess they were always cool in Joel's mind. But like when they're popping again, like dunks are right now, just don't forget, Joel told you first. Hey, Joel told you first. <laughs> Next up, This Week in Kicks. This is the part of the show where we discuss the current headlines and happenings in the world of sneakers. And as I mentioned off the top, Adidas has a new signature sneaker that has just dropped. It's fucking dope. It's very huh. cool. So Adidas has mm-hmm. been applying pressure with their rash of signings over the last couple of years, and they're continuing the trend with one of the biggest athletes on their roster. This week, it was on Monday, actually, the Three Stripes unveiled their new collection in partnership with Super Bowl winning athlete Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> huge, huge, huge name. So the collection consists of clothing, accessories, and a brand new signature sneaker for the quarterback. The uh, collection is titled impact flx is the name of the collection and the training shoe dropped on monday and sold out pretty much instantly like crazy very very quickly so i mean this goes to show you again and as alvin said the shoe is really really cool looking like the midsole with like the almost looks like waves or like like a jordan 5 like spiky things on it Mm -hmm. Uh, really really dope but like man there's just so much more out there in terms of like collaborators that can like push the push the envelope and like move the needle as opposed to like here's another rapper here's virgil again yeah, like yeah. there's just so much else you can do especially when you give them control and like make a meaningful story around it so facts yeah super down with this love seeing these kinds of things and love seeing brands give not necessarily your traditional collaborator or like whoever um, the power to have a signature sneaker or some design control or whatever, because like usually it takes a lot for somebody to get something like this. I'm not saying Patrick Mahomes doesn't deserve it, but like usually it takes quite a bit. And they uh, gave him his own signature sneaker, and look at that, it sold out on the first day. So Wait. good for Pat Mahomes. His logo was dope too. If you're if you're watching this or sorry, if you're listening to this, look it up. The Patrick Mahomes Adidas logo. It looks like a like a gladiator. Like a Spartan helmet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's very cool Same. looking. Very, very cool looking. But yeah, congrats to Pat Mahomes. Good friend of the show. He was on last week's episode, but it never got to air. <laughs> never um, got to air. <laughs> <laughs> to we had the record. inside scoop, man. We, yeah, we forgot to record. We had the inside scoop. We had him on. He told us all about the early information about the, and then we just, yeah, never. Yeah, shit. Drop the ball. We were like, ah, actually, we're busy. We're not going to even drop it. Fuck it. Um,. <laughs> Next up, previously in Kicks, this is the part of the show where we review our latest pickups and recap the latest happenings in our sneaker lives. Two weeks, baby. Two, more than two weeks. Two and a half weeks of hopefully pickups and stories and news and maybe not a whole lot of it. (laughs) Um, Alvin, any pickups for you in the last little while? Yeah, man. Um, So my, my, my first ever purchase i i feel like i already mentioned it but it arrived i got the uh jordan one low neutrals from stock x they came perfect condition uh with my stock x tag saying it was verified which man they look good i i i brought them they're in like my car because i want to undies them but mm. i just I, I forget and I, I haven't put them on feet yet so they're still yes but i will undies them very soon um and then uh, not sneaker related. I was able to purchase a roof rack for the Jeep. Nice. Uh, we needed one because Max, our puppy, is is almost full grown and he can no longer sit with the girls 
in the back seat because he's hella uncomfortable. So we now put him in the trunk. Oh, uh, say, and because roof. we're losing that trunk space, <laughs> that's why we, we got the roof rack. Put him on the trunk. We put him on the roof. <laughs> um, but yeah, because we're losing that trunk space, we need something to, to, to store things if we ever go on a long drive or go on a trip yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I'm really amped to get that on the Jeep. Um, it should be a quick install, but yeah, you'll, I'm sure you guys will see pics eventually. How does that work with the, cause you have the big moon roof. How does it work with that? Does it go like, so it doesn't anymore. Oh, you um, can't use it anymore there. So, I mean, they did have options, uh, where I could still use the roof, uh, the, the sky one touch roof. However, uh, one, they were either way too expensive or two, they just look stupid. Mm. Um, cause I like the one that I, I had a choice of getting, um, the roof rack crossbars were too high off of the roof. Mm-hmm. And I just, in my opinion, they don't look good. Uh, I wanted something sleek closer to the roof for also less wind noise. Um, like many things that I do, I do a lot of research before I make any big purchases. And that was one thing that I wanted something with not a lot of wind noise. Um, and that's, that's why I decided to go with the roof rack that I went with lower to the roof, closer to the roof. And it's like a little bit more sleek and looks really good. Um, mm. yes, I am very, uh, I wanted it for the uh, looks more than uh, yeah. functionality. <laughs> what's it the functionality. <laughs> I mean, it is very still very functional, but at the same time, like if the girls are in the car, we don't open the roof anyway because P, um, she can't breathe properly. <laughs> like if that makes because the wind's always in her face, yeah. so she's not oh, used to yeah, it. Yeah. So she's still yeah. learning and all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the roof, the roof's always closed anyway. I'm the only one that uses it, um, but it's whatever. I'm good with it. Nice. So you can't use it at all? Like it just like clips to the part where it like moves or I can probably do the front half. I just can't mm. do it all the way back. Gotcha. But okay. that's soft. Yeah. Just yeah, make yeah, sure yeah. you don't forget that Kaya's in the front seat playing around with all the buttons and then <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it just messes up yeah. the roof. Opens yeah. the one touch and done. Done. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, no, yeah. for sure. I gotta watch that now. You're welcome. <laughs> Is that gonna be in when are you when are you installing that? I'm hoping this week so that it's good for next week. Nice. You're gonna do it yourself? Yeah, it was like from what I from all from all the research slash YouTube videos that I watched, it looked like an easy install, so I should be mm. able to do it. Uh worst case, like Sasha can just help me lift the basket onto the roof and then I secure everything, but mm. it should be a pretty easy, quick install for that. Famous last words. Can't wait till next week. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh Joel, anything for you in the last couple of weeks? Sneakers or otherwise? Um, no sneakers, but I- I'm I'm gonna need your help putting a roof rack too because I'm looking for a roof rack. Hey, well. like you, I like the look of it as well, and like it's so so it has no purpose for my car anyway whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, it's gonna look good, bro. It's gonna, gonna look, look fucking sick. good. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so yeah, um, I have no pickups. I I bought paint. Nice, <laughs> like a touch up paint because I got like this big ass, big ass rock stone chip on oh, my front. Oh, shit. My front. So I had to like, you know, do the whole wet sanding and but yeah, like this kind of weather, this kind of heat, this humidity is not good because like I had to I wasted like a whole butt like a whole tube of touch up paint just for that and like it just wasn't grabbing. Like it wasn't mm, staying because it's so, so hot I had and to humid. Like, do the whole I had to sand the whole the whole part down and and I had to like get the perfect color match for the for the car. But yeah it looks perfect now um i i I kick myself for not doing any uh before and after pictures but yeah Mm. um but that's my pickup it was like (laughs) clear coat and and paint but yeah i'm just geeking out on like the car but yeah that's it no no pickup for me i'm actually Um, looking for a roof rack as well (laughs) yo let's go bro but i had the same concern because i also have the sunroof i didn't want to like look up and see like Mm my sh- like a fucking bar above like sunroof so i'm maybe yeah. i'll maybe i'll tap into alvin and see uh because yeah it looks so sporty yeah. it looks so cool it looks cool it looks like, man. extra storage yo you put a cool up there for no reason yeah it's literally cool just leave it up day. there <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'll put joe in the cargo box yo. there you yo, go facts. hey where are you going i'm just going to joel's 20 minute drive but hey i still got a cooler <laughs> on the a cooler. <laughs> let me get my uh, drink my Thule <laughs> duffel bag really quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, I think I mentioned a couple of my pickups before we took our mini hiatus, but I was, because I went uh, to the States, I was able to pick up my Nike S- Nike SB Para Olympic jersey, the USA one. 
mm-hmm. from a homie who was able to assist me on that. That's really, really cool in person. It's like yeah. super light. It's like similar to like a swingman mesh almost, but even like a looser oh, nice. mesh than that. So it's like really, really light. The only thing I don't love is the V-neck, but like it oh, works. V-neck, it's all yeah. good. Yeah, it's a V-neck. It's kind of weird. It's the only one of the bunch that was a V-neck, which is like mm-hmm. super, super weird. Oh, true. Yeah, um, yeah. Also, this was uh, mentioned on actually the aforementioned Weekends with Walt. I was on his podcast like like three weeks ago, two and a half weeks yeah. ago. Yeah. And uh, he was able to secure me a pair of the Yeezy 700 Wave Runners ah, on Yeezy Day, so which was good, my birthday. Yo. So, yeah, that so was like good. 23 days ago or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was able to pick those up because he shipped those instead of shipping them across the border. He just shipped them cross state to me because I was already in the States and I kind of just hey. met them down there. Nice, nice. I don't know how I lived without them. If I'm being frank, like I know Alvin has been like singing their praises since he got them and like I wanted them already. Um, but yeah, like I wore them, I owned them for like a week and I wore them probably three days of the yep. seven days. Like I couldn't take them off my feet. Incredibly comfortable, a little bit warm. But also the they places the places that I were what? were very warm, so I didn't want to blame yeah. the, the shoes. But comfort is there. It's one of those shoes that like you can just wear all day. Can get a little bit beat up because they're like the materials and the colors are okay with a couple scuffs. And yeah, shout out to John Weekends with Walt. And man, yeah, that was cool. It was really really dope. It was on my birthday that they came out, and he like texted me. He's like, happy birthday. Like, oh, thanks, what man. a good guy. What a good guy. I love that guy, John. I had to pay for them, so not that good, but <laughs> 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 could have been better. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, really excited. That would have probably been, if, if I got those earlier in the summer, that probably would have been my answer for like the really, really good summer shoe. Because mm. I, like I said, I've owned them for like a week and a half and I've worn them several times already. I almost consider just yeah. tossing the box and just like, because I think mm. I'm going to wear them that often. I'm really, really mm, excited about them. True. Um, but yeah, that was it for me in terms of pickups. Next up, thumbs up, thumbs down. In this part of the show, we give our opinion on various sneaker-related topics with zero context or discussion. All we're allowed to say is thumbs up or thumbs down. And this week's topic is the Air Jesus Birkenstocks. Alvin, I know that Sasha is big into Burks. I need to know, though, from you, thumbs up or thumbs down to Burks. Uh, you know what? Thumbs up, man. <laughs> it's, it's like your seal. You know what? Fine. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm also going to go, you know what? Thumbs up. <laughs> Joel, what about you? You know what? With socks, thumbs up, bro. Oh, wow. With the, the thong Ooh. and two. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Just the way Jesus would have wanted it. Um, yeah. Next up, NSR. <laughs> we talk about sneakers a lot. So in this weekly segment, we're going to take 30 seconds out of the show to discuss something completely irrelevant from the world of sneakers. And this one, this one for me, I'm very passionate about it. I just don't know if the rest of the world is. So I threw it in here. And if it turns into a four second conversation, then that's it. If not, then whatever. Mm-hmm. On your mobile devices, actually, I think on most devices now it offers this. Are you guys light mode or dark mode Ooh. on like apps on your device in general? Because for me, I'll start it off. When I once I switched to dark mode, it was over. Now when I yeah. see when someone passes me their phone and they're showing me, I'm like blinded. I'm like, yeah, what yeah. did you just show me the sun? Like it's so yeah. bright. Fact. And it is easier to see. Like during the daytime when it's really bright outside, I mm. can't see shit on my phone. Like it doesn't matter how much my brightness is up. I can see absolutely nothing on my cell phone until like after 7 p.m. But it's just like so much better for me. Like I'm always on my phone until like 1 o'clock in the morning. Like I don't need this like spotlight in my face. So I'm very, very much pro dark mode on anything that offers it. Any app that does not offer dark mode, catch up. You're behind. It's 2021. Every app needs dark mode. Just leave light mode in the dust. But uh, mm-hmm. Alvin, what about you? Are you light mode or dark mode? I was dark mode before dark mode started, bro. Like, Damn. Because you could, I mean, at least on Android, you can switch up the theme. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So any windows that pop up or anything like that, you can switch it up. But I mean, when Instagram went dark mode, that was, I was like, oh, yes, thank gosh. Because yep. yeah. I'm on Instagram like so mm-hmm. much. I mean, previously, not as much lately for some reason, but again, dark mode all day. Like, I find it's better for my eyes. Yeah. Um, and it's just easier, man. Like, my eyes aren't as strained after I get off in the evening, I find mm. anyway. But yeah, honestly, I love dark mode. If if the app is not dark mode, I don't use it. Facts. I just yeah. delete the app. Yeah, so, for real. Garbage. 
Yeah, like, facts. What is this primitive <laughs> app? Um, Joel, what about you? Man, dark bold, dark coffee, dark Ooh. juice. I'm Ooh, dark <laughs> juice. <laughs> that pomegranate juice. That pomegranate Concord grape dark juice. Ooh. <laughs> Jeez. About it, man. Like it's like you said, like it's easy on the eyes, you know, easy on the eyes, easy on the back, bro. So on it's the good, back. man. Like, I'm all about it. Like it's it's good, man. Like like you said, like it's it's like at night, popping. Yeah. In the day, not so much popping, but yeah, still it's... like you know, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about the daytime? Forget, forget yeah, about the it's... daytime. Yeah. I wanna know for any of the listeners who are on team light mode, what like what why like mostly just why what are you what's in it for you like and do you just did you never switch is it was it too much like maybe the initial shock when you first switch because it is a lot to to get to used to maybe that was just too much and they switched back i need to know i need answers and if everyone is using dart mode why do you even have light mode why Ooh. why do you maybe that's just mode now you don't even need it to, to have two it's like <laughs> it should just be that's the way it is if nobody uses light mode Apparently, it's good for the environment, too. No one even mentioned that. Apparently, it's good for battery life because it's not as bright. There you go. Wow. We are just so good. Look at us. Anyways, next up, <laughs> on to our main thing this week. As we said, it's it's been two weeks, two and a half weeks since uh, we we did this. We were, we were definitely talking, you know, a little bit, but we were all, like, super busy. Um, mm-hmm. The reason we weren't able to record two weeks ago was because it was Joe Mar's birthday. How old is he now? 13? 13. Oh my god. We were at his what? Second birthday? Third? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. A second. second. It was a second where second he passed birthday. out opening the presents. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been there. Second. Yeah. <laughs> 13. And then last 13. week I was away. I was in Arizona and then I went to Dallas. So we weren't able to record for 2 weeks. Uh, we almost missed this week, but Alvin was generous enough to come back from his vacation. We should have mm-hmm. just all aligned. Like, we should have just done, like, the <laughs> yeah, this Canada Got Soul was completely closed for a week. But no, we spread it out over three <laughs> weeks. <laughs> like, like very smart gentlemen. But we'll start with uh, with Joel. Like, how was, how was Joel Mars' birthday? What did you guys do? How is he feeling? Oh, he see, I mean, we cool. saw him recently, and he's, like, a grown person now, which was jarring. Yeah, like, his, his voice is cracking. Yeah. He's got like he's breaking out and stuff like that. Like you know, you're going through like the whole your hormones are acting up like that and shit. So, but yeah, man, like his birthday, like we kept it, we kept it local. Like, like he 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 was being invited. Like prior to his birthday, he was being invited to like you know little little birthdays of like his his homies and stuff like that. And it was just like a small group. Um, so we just did the same. Uh, so we just had like maybe four four kids four of his um nice his close homies come over and they just hung out they just hung out at the house uh just had some pizza for them um they uh pretty much chilled downstairs and whatnot and watched tv talked about girls i guess i don't know man what the hell? <laughs> whatever 13 year olds do <laughs> yeah they all went for a walk after to the park i don't know what that's all about mm-hmm. yes yeah, so-, <laughs> mm-hmm. so yeah man like it was cool man it was just chill um and we celebrated also uh Raylene's birthday so it's like my niece's birthday well nice. my yeah like it's this sort of like a yearly tradition thing and and it, it was sort of like a spur of the moment thing so we ended up going to Niagara for the weekend and um man like like if you didn't know there was a pandemic man geez like it was crazy Yo. like ee, like, like masks <laughs> on everything like, come on man what are these guys doing uh, it wasn't a good time for the kids. Uh, lineups galore. Mm-hmm. Uh, we should have went like during the week or something because, like, the whole weekend it was just lineups to go get some food. Lineups for like, you know, funnel cake. Just lineups, and they couldn't really enjoy. So uh, we gotta we gotta do re- we gotta redo that again. So, but yeah, man, it's just been busy the past couple weeks with like just family. And uh, that's about it, man. Did you guys do any of the uh, attractions at Niagara Falls? Because there was lineups for all that stuff too, and like, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, strange to even to... think about being in a yeah. enclosed, like zombie maze with a bunch of people. Did you guys do anything? Yeah, like that was a lineup there. Nightmares was like wrapped twice. I think they had like oh a, a lineup behind the building, and then they had like barricades going up and down. Like that was like a shit show there. Um, the Ferris wheel was like double lineup. 
Speedway was crazy lineup. Like for sure, bro. They couldn't do nothing, man. They Damn. couldn't do nothing. So you just yeah. looked at the big waterfall. We just looked at the big waterfall, threw some pennies and stuff in the water. You <laughs> Save you money. A couple pennies yeah, is cheaper wish. than. <laughs> for I real. wish for no lineups. Um, yeah. I've heard that Speedway sucks. I don't know. Have you guys? I don't think anyone here has ever yeah. done it, but I heard it's very not good. It looks really cool for anybody not from the area. Mm. It was advertised like when it when it opened up as like a Mario Kart go kart. Mm. It goes like up like three stories and like spirals down like tokyo drift in the parking lot yeah. like super cool looking from afar but i've heard that the go-karts go incredibly slow and yeah. like it's not even like exciting which i get like you don't want people like yeah. zooming around when you're like yeah. 50 feet in the air so i guess yeah. i get it but like it's controlled too like jomar mm. jomar and raylene they wrote it okay they went, went on it the, the last time we were down there mm. before before the weekend um but yeah they went on it and like you said, it was it was like a quick couple laps and that was it. It was done. Like it was nothing. It wasn't like a big track. It may look like a big track, yeah. but it's it's a small small track if you want to think about it. Just a lot of twists and turns and, and and that's it. But like I said, it's controlled. Like as soon as they were done their lap, like as soon as like if you were to push down on the on the pedal, the gas pedal, there's no power. Mm. Like they they're able to control it. Where it's like okay, slow down. You gotta get off. Oh, that's of crazy, thing. bro. So yeah, like you're going fast and all of a sudden, like there's no power. Oh, it's so annoying. it's like, boo. Yeah, yeah that's kind of crap. Um, <laughs> Alvin, how about your last two weeks? I think you had a cottage trip sprinkled into like also a trip to Niagara. Give us, give us the rundown of your two weeks. Uh, no, no cottage trip, but our good friend Calby was here. Yes, uh, the same that's week that it was. Uh, it was Joe Mar's birthday. Yes, mm. and uh, it was full of food shopping a possible trip to the library and <laughs> just lots of fun man so calby had like a bucket list uh not a bucket list but like a list of things he wanted to do slash get for when he was down here um he wanted a6 socks like crew socks so we can rock them with all his dope ass a6 he also wanted um what else did he want he wanted a pair of new balance 327s but i'll let him tell you guys that story just dm him uh mm-hmm. and like just cheesecake factory that was the main thing. Yeah. Uh, and then just to hang out with as many sneaker homies as possible. Yeah. Um, so we got to link up with Lawrence. Luckily, unfortunately, Queer Joel had Jomar's birthday. So we couldn't yeah, see man. Jomar or the fam. Um, oh, and then we also were able to take him downtown. We checked the homie J.R. Weidman mm. and oh. the homie Kim, bro. It was dope to see them. Yeah. Uh, and then the night after, our good friend Mike D um, from the yeah. Sneaker Podcast drove all the way to Milton uh just to come check us and be able to hang out with us and chill with us and we were out for the night it was a good night so it was really good to see a lot of the sneaker homies and it was even like doper to have cal over because like you already know cal's cal's family so um Mm -hmm. it's always good to see him and have him out in toronto i was trying to convince him to come out here and just move here but uh you know i don't think it would take much convincing i know (laughs) (laughs) i mean we'll see man we'll see so hopefully that'll happen in the near future but yeah it was fun that was uh two weeks ago and then this week, we just wanted to to head out, man. Uh, mm. It's pretty much like summer's dwindling down. Kai's going to be going back to school in September. Um, so we just wanted to take her out before before anything ended. And we took uh, took the fam to Niagara Falls. Mm. Um, so we, we, we bought some tickets for the Falls View Indoor Water Park, which was pretty dope. Uh, it, it was cool because they did have time slots and they did limit the people who were there. There were still a good chunk of people, but... You felt safe enough that you were social, socially distant, uh, and it wasn't super packed. But um, that was a good time. Uh, and then last night, which was our last night, uh, Lawrence and Jill came through just to surprise the kiddos, say what up and stuff like that. And we went to Clifton Hill, and like Queer Joel said, like on a Wednesday night, it was no. ridiculous, bro. Like Crazy. halfway down the hill, and I was like, my mask is going on. Yeah, I don't care yeah. if we're outside. Yeah. I was like, I don't give. It was nope. it was too crowded. Uh, I personally did not feel comfortable. Yeah. Um, but I mean, the kids had fun and wifey was good and Joe was good too. So mm-hmm. that's all that really mattered. And, uh, yeah, man, we had some dope ass tacos at, uh, taco and tequila. I think it was, uh, in Niagara. If you guys have a chance to check out that spot, check it out. That's some good food. Hashtag um, ad. but yeah, yo, that was, that was it. I did no shopping. I'm trying to restrict my shopping. Uh, even though I wanted to pass by the outlets on the way home, I said, no, no, 
to myself. I slapped my hand. I was like, no. And then that was it. Get out of this off ramp. Yeah. Get on the so, back on the highway. Just stayed on the highway and just ignored it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, when we went to Clifton Hill, it was nice. Like, I was telling mm-hmm. Kellen, Chef Kreisel, he messaged yeah. and it was like, how was it or whatever? And I was like, it sucked. I love it. Like, Niagara is one of those places like it's not very good like you went going there once for the first time it's like this is really cool really yeah. large waterfall bright lights midway zombie mazes big ferris wheel casinos cool 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 maybe like your first weekend you're like awesome and when you're like a local resident even like Toronto area it's like an hour drive for anybody who's not familiar from Toronto it's Ooh. fun like it's always one of those things like yo let's go to Niagara and then you get there and you're like what do we do here? <laughs> like, what do we do? And it's like, we always go. Like, I love going to Niagara Falls. It's like so nostalgic. It's so fun. Mm-hmm. It's like, you feel like a tourist because it's very touristy. There's all the gift shops and stuff, but like, it's not good. <laughs> it's just like, it like, yeah. it like sucks, but we all love it. It's like a really, really weird thing. I, I messaged somebody else who was like from Vancouver and he was like, oh, it looks so cool. I was like, yeah, it sucks. We all love it. Like, it's one of those, like, <laughs> it doesn't make sense unless you go a bunch of times. But yeah. I echo the yeah. sentiment. I was like, it's like a, it's like a really good uh, getaway, like a romantic getaway. Yeah. when you're young. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's like a dull spot to take your kids because your kids are just like, oh my god, there's so much water, and then that's yeah. about it. Like in non-pandemic yeah. times too, like it's only like an hour fifteen ish, hour and a half, so it's not a bad drive. It's like you yeah, can go facts. for the day. You can spend in, mm-hmm. like there's enough to do there that it's an entire day. So yeah, it's a weird yeah. Niagara is like a yeah, it's a weird space-time place i don't even know how to describe niagara falls but yeah i was like walking down clifton hill and like in my mind because that would have been yesterday which would have been thursday wednesday i got back on sunday i was like i did not go on like four planes in two states like travel is the u.s for a week to catch covid at niagara falls i was like (laughs) hell no i was like no 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 i put my mask on i was like no i'm not doing this like hell no it was nice though it was it was just yeah again it was a nice night it was a little bit warm but yeah anyways um so yeah the last two weeks for me i went to arizona for four days for a, a staff retreat um like a team building we had some staff meetings all that kind of thing arizona's very very cool went to uh, their local boutique which is called manor which is a really Dope. really cool spot uh i grabbed it. They, it what's cool about that sneaker boutique is they actually do golf stuff as well so it's like right up my alley Ooh. they have like Ooh. a golf collab they do like tailor-made custom stuff they did like a nike golf collection so it's a really really cool spot especially for my tastes i picked up like a ball marker in the shape of a cactus and their logo is like a cacti what? a cacti with uh sneakers hanging off of it which is like oh, really that's cool dope. yeah i brought it to show you guys but and since orange like it's really really cool um so yeah shout out to manor i went to undefeated for the first time because there's one Ooh. in phoenix so Ooh, that was sick. a cool spot it was crazy i could tell a story we went uh like i said the, the staff went and a couple of the girls went the day after some of us went. It was uh, a coworker, and one of them was actually Anna. Anna went by. And nice. they were just talking to the undefeated staff, and they got talking, 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 and they were like, oh, what size do you guys wear? And they were like, oh, five and a half or whatever the fucking size they wear. And he was yeah. like, hold on, I might have some stuff in the back. Comes out with the Hall of Fame Kobe 5, like the gold one, the undefeated collab with the purple swoosh. And he's like, yo, we have these in your size. Do you guys want them? Like, nuts. Both of them got wow. them. So crazy. Wow. So like those jokes everyone always makes like, oh, maybe there's something sitting in the back. There is. <laughs> there, maybe yeah, there is crazy, something bro. actually sitting in the back. Like crazy. this random release that like sold out months ago. They just had sizes sitting in the back room. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Went for a hike up like, oh my God. First of all, yeah. I don't know if I've been to Arizona. For anybody who hasn't been to Arizona, it's really hot. Like... <laughs> It's hard to explain how hot like 105 in the desert feels because oh it's just gosh. it's just like heat. I, I don't know what that converts to like maybe like 42, 43. No humidity, just hot, heat, dead, dry. I can't do that, bro. Sun like just baking you. It's like you're just stand, standing there sweating. Um, but it was fun as hell. But yeah, so it was really hot. Went on a <laughs> hike. We had to go at 6 a.m. on the hike. Like we left the the hotel at 6 a.m. Because it was so hot that if we went any later, we would have died. Like, it was just insane. Um, 
So yeah, that was that was Arizona. Arizona was dope, and then went to Dallas. So again with Soul Savvy, organized a shoe drive in collaboration mm-hmm. with a local charity in the DFW area. So we we were collecting sneakers and also like monetary donations, um, and we were able to in two days in partnership with a, another local boutique boutique center, which is like so sick. Like they have two spots in in da- one in Dallas and one in Fort Worth, which is like a forty minute drive, essentially like kind of like the suburbs of Dallas. Mm-hmm. Um, incredibly cool store like so cool so down to earth like one of those like culture spot community spots like that you like remember from back in the day where people just go and like chill and hang out like tons of seating like just really chill vibes um so we partnered with them we were able to collect 440 something pairs of sneakers in two days and uh the fundraiser is now over seven thousand dollars usd like this weekend i think so probably the day this drops but you can find the uh, link anybody can uh, participate in that fundraiser and you have a chance to win Travis Scott and Jordan one lows. But, uh, Woo. yeah, again, r- the same temperature. So about a hundred degrees, but like mostly humidity. So like yeah, no, the air that. was like soup. <laughs> like it was, Woo. and the fundraisers, the shoe drops were outside both days. So oh. Friday and oh, Saturday outside, oh, man. just like absolutely like stewing in like you're just everyone is it's nice because everyone is disgusting and sweaty but like at the same time it just smells bad like it's just yeah. no but again dallas was dope I had some dallas barbecue which obviously i had to get and it was absolutely friggin delicious i don't remember the name of the joint but it was in uh df it was in fort worth so but yeah that was uh then flew home and went to uh Niagara one evening on spur of moment because Jill was bored and she's like, You haven't been here for <laughs> you haven't been here for seven days. Can we do something? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Make it up to me. Basically is what it was. Yeah. And I was like, We yeah. can go to Niagara. And she's like, Oh, that's cute. And I was like, Yeah, Alvin's there right now. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, that was it for me. That was a busy, busy, busy two weeks for all of us, yeah. I think. Um any highlights for you guys of like summer in general? Like just, it, like I said, it, by the time this drops, it's basically September. Any highlights for you just from the summer overall? I know it was like a weird summer where like we couldn't really do much, but like, can you think of anything off the top of your head that was like a highlight for you guys, Alvin? Uh, just just the cottaging part, man. Like you, I was able, like I was able to take the fam and, and let them see other parts of Ontario, which was pretty dope. Um. Ontario is actually really beautiful if you actually take the what time. I mean, to, actually, uh... <laughs> yo, you because all you all you think about when you think about Toronto on, or like Canada, Ontario is you go straight to the city, you go straight to Toronto. Yeah, Toronto. Um, you never know or are unless you go into it. Like I, I know a lot of the other homies have gotten into like hiking, like sneaker life. Husband, he's yo, he's been posting tons yeah. of like hiking trails. I'm always hitting him up. I'm like, yo, where's this? Yo, where's this? And he's always willing to share the location but it's just like being able to get out and actually enjoy the nature and rock my kicks i mean i know i I haven't really been posting anything on social media or nothing like that just because it just feels good just to enjoy shit not have to worry about creating anything and just like actually take time to Mm -hmm. you know enjoy the time with the familia um and yeah that's it man i think it's just being able to see the fam being able to see some of the friends and just having that time to socialize uh which is something that you know we haven't had because of lockdowns and stuff like that you know um god willing we don't have to to, to you know have another lockdown because of the rumors of covid 22 and whatnot um i mean i'm hoping this this can last so we can all somehow meet up soon yeah record uh, in person Whoa. yeah or, or record in person <laughs> or just Whoa. just like whatever you know like organize a small event just to see the rest of this new community just see the rest of the friends and family man like yeah for us yeah. like as as the martinez fam like it was just good to see people mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. especially the fam man like it's, it was it, like during covid or during lockdown it's, it was a struggle not being able to see people uh but being able to see people now um even though it's like in small groups and stuff like that and not everyone all together it's still worth it uh and then just you know rocking whatever the fuck i want man because i don't have to worry about so posting shit on uh, social media even though obviously everything i rock is fresh um because it's me and i'm just talking shit but uh yeah no it's been fun man like that like i don't know bro it's been good it's been really really good it's been a good summer considering everything yeah so for those who aren't aware and i believe you mentioned it you took a pat leave because you had a newborn baby um 
do you i'm assuming this all this means that you're very happy you did that oh yes it's 100 percent, 150 percent like super happy i made that decision um i wish i could have done it with kaya as well uh but unfortunately the company i was with wasn't uh offering the benefits that the company i'm with is offering now Fuck um goodness. but <laughs> yo if you guys have the chance to take any sort of pat leave any of my homies anyone that's having a kid and if you could take some time off be with the fam regardless of what season it is what time of the year it is it doesn't matter just take that time off because yeah. like uh yo you can just see things uh within your kids like developmental wise uh that you wouldn't be able to see like on the regular like i miss a lot of the stuff that i get to see with penelope now that mm. that i wish i saw with kaya but mm. either way like I, it, it's it's just good to be able to spend that time with them especially during the pandemic and stuff like that you know what i'm saying like support the fam and stuff support sash because if I wasn't on Pat leave, man, this summer would be a struggle <laughs> with Penelope, Kaya, and Max. Yeah. Yo, Sasha would have lost her hair for sure. No, um, you you would have lost Sash. Is the uh... <laughs> yo super facts, bro? God damn. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Sash for being that strong woman. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, yo, Pat leave. Honestly, if you guys can take it, any sort of parental leave, if you guys can take it, do it up, man. I I love it. I'm glad I took it, and if I could extend it for another ten years, <laughs> I would. <laughs> Hashtag yeah. ad for Pat leave. We love it. <laughs> uh, Joel, what about you? What's like a highlight from the, uh, because it's the end of summer now, what's a highlight that you can think of in terms of something that happened, an event, mm-hmm. to get together, being able to experience something, especially coming off last year where literally nothing yeah. happened. We went to yeah. the cottage together actually last summer, which was dope. But other than that, nothing. Yeah. What's mm-hmm. a highlight for you this summer, Joel? Just getting out there, man um like having that little taste of normalcy um considering like you know clifton hill was a shit show but yeah like you know like having that kind of you know you know you 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 want to exhale kind of thing you know yeah after holding in your breath for so long and, and you get to finally you know getting the the vaccines and whatnot but you get a you get a taste of of normalcy and and so far so good um you know, like just enjoying everything, man. Like, like going to the mall, like shit. Like I took that for granted. Like you know, like yeah. shit. Like you know what I mean. Like now I want to go every day. Like, Yo, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a mall rat again, bro. Let's yeah, go. Shit. You guys want to go sit in the food court? <laughs> Meet you at the bus terminal. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit on this bench for like an hour and a half. So. You'll take a picture of me sitting here, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so people know I'm here. For real. Well, yeah, man. Just that and like. Just I don't know, working on my car, like you know, getting mm. getting that done and and like doing what I wanted to do, um, to get done on the car, like finally getting that checked off, um, the bucket list. But yeah, like doing stuff like that, like um, you know, getting getting kind of back to normalcy would probably be probably be like you know my best bet, like the highlight of of this summer so far. So yeah, hell yeah, baby, um. Mm-hmm. For me, honestly, probably my birthday weekend because that did yeah. feel like the closest to like normal. Got to see yeah. all the all you guys. Um, mm-hmm. Got to like you know went to like a hotel, which was like hadn't been at a hotel in like a minute. So like that was really cool. And obviously now I went last week, but like yeah, experiencing that and then like being able to like just like feel like I'm on vacation, vacation, mm-hmm. which like yeah. hasn't happened in like almost two years now. So. Yeah, I really enjoyed that um, that whole weekend, and like you, like Joel kind of alluded to, like just feeling like it was a little bit more normal, and yeah, mm-hmm. not taking uh, like like the common theme, taking the typically would be a small thing, not taking it for granted, like just kind of like living exactly. it, bro. Fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah um, can I just say like going into the hotel this week? Weird. I was like, yo, I took it like you. I took a sniff. I was like, yo, I haven't. Hell yes. So I was like, yeah. I was like. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <sighs> whereas like kaya Man. walks in she's like daddy it stinks in here i'm like nah this is perfect nah, this, this is fresh. hotel smell <laughs> you know the hotel's fresh when it smells like this kaya you love this yeah. smell and it was just weird yo like small things I man like... walk into the ice machine like yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah hell yeah crazy bro <laughs> yeah it was it was it was weird it was a weird feeling and then being and it's just weird now because we're such social individuals like with us being in a crowded situation, I felt so <laughs> weird. I know. <laughs> Whereas, like, usually it's, I'm like, I'm like, yo, let's get it. Like, let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let it. But, like, now yeah. it's just like, I don't know, man. I know. 
I don't trust man, yo. <laughs> Keeping this thing is backwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's uh? We're, we'll we'll wrap it with this, and I know we didn't have any summer shoes, but now you have some time to think about it, so we can actually hold ourselves accountable here. Fall shoe, something in your rotation or something coming out. What is? I don't know why Alvin made the fart noise. That's what that was. No one actually farted. That was Alvin. I don't know if it was like a reflex. I don't know. That was what, a reflex. I don't know like, what fuck, it was. Man, it was fall shoe. Um, what's going to be your go-to fall shoe in the upcoming season? Quickly off the top of your head, Alvin. Uh, I'm gonna go Yeezy Wave Runner because that's been on my foot all summer. <laughs> uh, I'm also gonna go um, Air Max One uh, Safari. Ooh. Ooh. Um, any Air Max ones, to be honest. I'm just going to keep rocking my shit. Going to get ready for that countdown to 2022. Mm. Damn. 2022? Yeah, yeah. I got to prep for that because that's going to be a struggle. So. Yeah, it is going to be a struggle. Yeah. Uh, Joel, your go-to fall shoe or rotation because Alvin gave two. <laughs> um, wave Runners 2. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> get on that Wave Runner. But yeah, so I don't know. Air Force Ones. Off the top Ooh, of my head. All the Let's Air Force it. Ones. Yeah. Highs, lows, whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll probably. I was gonna do JTH. I love the, the yo. Bio I, I wore those enough this like, summer too. Ooh. I was like, fuck. Why am I wearing bio bitches? But yeah, I'm like, they look so good. Fuck They're just you such guys. a good shoe, man. Yeah, fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> whoever those guys are. Yeah, whoever who are. <laughs> said don't wear my bio bitches. Yeah, that's one. Of, that's again a shoe I don't have a box for. I just don't happen to not have a box no? for my second. I have two pairs. The second one oh, I don't true. have a box Sorry. for. You know, that's how we... <laughs> you asked. Um, One of the pairs was early, just saying. <laughs> like a month early, but let's not get into it. Um, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> yeah, so I wear those all the time. So I know that when, once the fall rolls around and it's like, you know, orange be staple, orange bro. vibes. Hell yeah. And I think I'm going to do yeah. Wave Runner too, because that like dark forest green, man. Hell yeah. That's vibes for sure. The earthy Ooh. tones. Can I just do an honorable mention to the box that Joel behind has behind his head? It's the Bape Adidas Superstars. Mm. I wore those yeah, yeah, yeah. on a 30 degree weather day at the outlet from like literally all day from 8 a.m. till probably 7 p.m. And they're comfy as fuck. And I my feet weren't hurting. Size 11 for me was perfect. Yeah, I love those. Those are probably going to end up being a fall, fall shoe, too, just because of the yep. camo. Yep. Yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah. looking for the right laces for that shoe. Mm. I mm. still can't find the right laces. We'll get there though. We got all fall yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> all fall. We'll figure all it fall. out. But yo, this was good. We're back. I feel like back. we've taken several weeks off this summer. But like we yeah. said, we're trying to enjoy what we can, especially because you know yeah, fall is can. coming. That means that winter's coming. We're gonna have to hibernate soon. Man, we outside. Mm-hmm. That's it. We CGS has been outside. We haven't had the opportunity to be outside in like a year and a half. So. As Alvin okay. says, I don't agree with this, but fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Whoever you guys Whoever are. Whoever you are, fuck you Whoever guys. You <laughs> Wherever you're taking in this episode, please leave a comment. Don't fuck you guys. Wherever you're taking this <laughs> episode, say, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> please leave a comment, review, follow, and or subscribe. Make sure to check out CanadaGotSold.ca to shop the latest CGS merch. Peep the YouTube for our latest videos and check out CGS.com cgs talk on facebook to chop it up with us do not forget to use hashtag canada got soul on instagram for a feature i have been lawrence hopkins and you can find me at l doggy styles on instagram woof i'm joel hernandez you can find me at joe dooney j-o underscore d three o's n-e-y my name is alvin quincy and you can find me at m-i-s-t-e-r-q and then mark thank you for listening to us talk about sneakers for 177 episodes and please remember to rock your kicks this has been true to size wait what has it been this has been true to size we have been cgs (laughs) fuck you guys we're out peace (laughs) rusty man it's been oh man (laughs) that's bad i wish i could Name I feel like episode. when we say fuck you guys we're talking to ourselves because we screw Basically, up so much yeah. <laughs> I'm talking to myself I wish I could name the episode fuck you guys but I just don't think I'm going to do that <laughs> now playing true to size 177 fuck you guys <laughs>